Alright, what's poppin' people? I'm rated D and I've tested positive for swag. And this is the first episode of the PlayStation Legion podcast. Uh, here for today's episode, uh, we've got Pyro, Somatic, and Starve Sanity. What's going on, guys? Or, or, or you can just call me JTech TV because a lot of people don't even know who Pyro is. This guy lived 18 billion years ago. <laughs> people know who he is. We just gotta stop being a rancher. <laughs> All right. Yep. Well, well, oh, you have something to say? No, nah, I mean this is the first. This is the first episode of the podcast is uh, you know, it's it's here to stay. We're gonna we're gonna be dedicated to this shit, and uh, right. it is gonna be more gaming. So if you guys think that this is a parody of anybody else's podcast out there, it's not. You are gonna be seeing gaming. You're not gonna just see grown men, uh, in the fucking Google chat and have to look at that while listening to voices you're gonna have some sort of entertainment um and i exactly. believe what our, our first episodes aren't gonna be this lengthy but if they ever are we're gonna do live uh live streams um yeah, if, they, yeah. if we thing, have a like, discussion yeah and that's the thing nobody wants to sit there for two three hours listen to a bunch of people complain about video games you know what i mean so this is gonna be like half an hour long just you know to the point basically anyway so we're going to start off by talking about upcoming games that we're really excited for um over the i guess the first half of this year so what are you guys really looking forward to right now obviously uncharted 4 obviously obviously well that's in april we got any games you gotta buy uh before april before april yeah i mean yeah yeah, that does come out at the end of this month, doesn't it? Yeah, it's January. 25th I think because it's gonna be digital only, it's probably gonna—I don't know—be anywhere between twenty and forty dollars. So if it's like twenty or thirty, I, I'll probably pick it up just for the fuck of it. I haven't had a puzzle game in a while, so um, that would be awesome. But I do know uh, as far as the very beginning of next month, like I told you guys, Hyper Dimension Neptunia Seven, which I did a live stream on, uh, Digimon which has over 250 Digimon you can collect to level up. And also, yes, that Digimon does have a trading feature. They did, the developer did confirm that you can trade your Digimon with other people and you can fight them. Uh, so that is pretty big for the PlayStation side because we haven't had any type of competition with uh, Pokemon. That game is coming out on February 2nd. It's going to be on a PS4 and a PlayStation Vita, a digital only on a PS Vita. Uh, and of course, the same day, Gravity Rush. So we have three exclusives in the same day, and that's on February 2nd, uh, just next month. So that's what I'm excited about. Um, you know, I, I, I just can't fucking wait. Just uh, The Witness is uh, the closest thing on my, my radar. So for me... The main one I'm excited for, obviously, is Uncharted. I'm also looking forward to Ratchet and Clank. And, I mean, it, those two really are going to be the main ones that I'm excited for. Yeah, um, I forgot about Ratchet and Clank. Good thing you brought yeah, that Yeah, that's in the beginning of April. What, the 18th, right? Uh, I think yeah. it's the 12th. It's earlier than that? The 12th? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Keep that. Keep talking. I'm gonna go check it out because I'm excited about that. No, the other yeah, thing is play PlayStation VR yeah, should yeah, be coming out pretty soon. Up. What do you guys think about that? Yeah, I, I think I just made a video about it. I think we should be getting an announcement on GDC, and GDC is in March, so it should be coming out before E3. Um, January, February, March, April, May. You know, maybe it should be like between the end of May or sometime in June when we get VR. I know that they were aiming for summer, uh, but they they are definitely doing what they need to do with it, making sure all the bugs are out of it, all the disclaimers and all of that shit, as well as making sure they can get a, a good affordable price for the people that do want to get into VR. I do, like I said in the video, I may, I definitely believe it's gonna be lower than um, Oculus Rift. We do know it's yeah, less, yeah. Uh, it's less technology. And peripherals do cost less than the hardware that is running it. So for anybody to keep thinking, oh, it's going to be $400 and $500, no, it's not. Uh, Sony's not a dumbass. Um, not like Microsoft, who actually passed on virtual reality. <laughs> but um, I think I think it's going to come out this summer. 
and I believe it's going to be the sweet spot of anywhere between 250 and 350. If they do charge 400, um, you know, I don't know what to say about it. I think I'm going to get it, you know. Uh, but uh, hopefully, like I said, also said in the video, they need to give us the price point and the release date at least two to three months before it comes out so people can save. Um, so, yeah, that's just my thoughts on it. Yeah, yeah so maybe it releases with No Man's Sky, though. Oh, oh yeah, No Man's Sky. I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, I that heard that that's what they were it. trying to do with it. They were trying to promote both. Um, if they can do that, if they can really pull that off... That'll be huge, you know. That'll be huge. That'll be a system seller. Um, if they can get No Man's Sky to run with on the that witness shit. too. Oh my God! There's so many games gone home could be upgraded for uh, virtual reality. It's it's, just, it's a it's a big discussion for that. Hey, but I know one thing's for sure: Somatics dying to play that PT. Uh, that game like PT, Allison Road. He's gonna sit there in the kitchen oh drinking my milk God. before bedtime. In the VR, dude. <laughs> I would, but we all know Konami's not upgrading that game. But it would be awesome if somebody could, uh, you know, make some. I've heard that Oculus Rift already has a good amount of horror games lined up for it. Uh, so I'm pretty sure we're going to have our fair share of horror games that are lined oh, up for our virtual reality. reality. That would be awesome. So I think that's pretty much it about the upcoming games. One thing I really want to bring up real quick, I don't know if it's going to be like set from this point forward, but if you have Amazon Prime, you can get like 20% off every game that you pre-order right now. So I went and I pre-ordered Uncharted, Ratchet and Clank, uh, The Last Guardian, and Horizon, and I got them all 20% off. So if you guys so have Amazon the, Prime, definitely look that up. Um, so price? next up, the NPD sales. Now, we already saw uh, that, you know, Sony won the, the hardware sales for all of 2015 as well as for December. And you already have people trying to damage control the software sales because if you saw for Call of Duty and Star Wars, they had the Xbox One version listed as selling more. But in the end, when you combine everything the PlayStation still ended up selling more copies of games and consoles worldwide, or in the United States, that's MPD, let alone worldwide. So what do you guys think about the MPD sales? I think Sony's killing it. I think Sony's Thanks, killing it, and the Xbox fans want to use December like November didn't happen. We beat them in November, and we did very good in uh, December, so uh, as far as software is concerned. Yo. But... um. You know, that's that's when a lot of Xbox fans have their parents because we know most of them are still living with their parents. Uh, and they have no responsibilities. They have no job or ambitions in life. And, and they get their parents to buy them their games for Christmas. So I can understand why the sales were a little bit higher in December uh, for their software compared to in November where we just totally dominated software. Um, I, I think... They should already know that this is just going to be the normal thing. There's more gamers over here than over there, so software is just going to be better over here. Uh, that's why we get all the exclusives. That's why we get the exclusive um, um, DLC and um, stuff like, you know, uh, what was this game right here? Lego Marvel Avengers, where they said we're getting exclusive free um, uh, DLC outfits for some of the heroes, you know, and that's only on PS3 and PS4, like... That's the type of shit that we're getting over here because sales matter. They want to make sure the people that have brought the mo most consoles are happy with their game so they can buy more of their software. Um, it's pretty obvious. So if you guys are wondering why everybody's riding the dick of Sony and the PS4 is because there's more gamers over here. You need to please us because we're the, the greater part of gaming right now as far as consoles are concerned. Sony has a whole bunch of the market share um, in terms of uh, console gaming right now. And it's uh, it's evident with all of these dick-riding developers that castrated the PS3 last generation. And now they're dick-riding the PS4 this generation. Uh, but how do you feel about that, Rating D? You know, do you, are you okay with the amount of dick-riding certain developers are doing with the PS uh, PlayStation 
uh, brand right now compared to last generation where they was all on a dick of Xbox 360. See, I think more than anything, it just has to do with the the trend as far as on the business side of things, who's doing better. But I do find it funny that, you know, last gen, you always had Call of Duty on Xbox be the main thing. And now it's flip flops. It, it's just really interesting to me seeing how the different fan bases are reacting to it, especially. But I will say, I think it's hilarious that the Xbox fans had that Xbox or Riot thing because of that. Like they now they can't handle the fact that PlayStation's selling better, and so the, the third parties are coming back over to us. You know. Yeah, you're oh, right. That's about, I mean, that's about the MP, NPD, right? Yeah, and favoring. We're we're talking yeah, not about. Not to mention why. those guys are all the ones using the better my, my PSN thing, hashtag. My, well, my thing with that too is. Uh, <laughs> They try to damage control because, remember, you know, this was supposed to be Xbox One's best ho holiday lineup, and they yeah, still yeah, fail. Yeah. So, well, if you want to talk about MPD somatic with the best holiday lineup, you got to remember Halo 5 was being hyped up when yeah. I went to go see Star Wars The Force Awakens. Why the fuck was Microsoft in my movie theater with Halo 5 on the popcorn, on the fucking soda, uh, soda, um, soda cups? And then I saw a Halo 5 trailer before Star Wars started, before the um, the, the commercials <laughs> and all of the trailers started, I saw a commercial for Halo 5 showing off just a few reviewers that gave it good scores. Um, why did I have to see that? But with all of this stuff that Microsoft tried to do, with all these advertisements, that they, they, they used, even though they weren't supposed to go do that shit because Sony was partnered up with Disney for Star Wars advertisements and vice versa. It did not help, help Halo stay on top in December as far as the MPDs are concerned. It did not even make top 10. Um, so as far as people keep saying, oh, Halo's this, Halo's that, Halo's selling, it was only top, what, it Wasn't it combined sales with the 360 for it to reach that number, I believe? No, no, we talking about Halo Five, but as far as oh. as far as the hardware, uh, they always combine it now because they call, okay. Microsoft is calling the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One one type of brand. They're saying it's just yeah, it's a like brand as a whole. Them as one yeah, now. which is not fair, but you know, oh, I think uh, that is me, another discussion. Let me bring up one thing real quick. Uh, I talked about this with Yules the other day as well, and we think it's hilarious how. Now, everybody's complaining about exclusive DLC, but if you remember, during the PS2 generation, I specifically remember with Splinter Cell... PS3. Did you mean uh, PS3 I, I know, or PS2? I, I'm going to go uh, back to the oh, PS2 okay. and show what happened with the PS3. But yeah. um, with the PS2 generation, Splinter Cell, a multi-plat by Ubisoft, they didn't have uh, any sort of pre-order incentive type things or like extra DLC that you buy, depending on which version of the game you got, you had bonus uh, features or whatever. Like, for example, I think the PS2 version would have, like, an extra mission. The Wii, or not the Wii, the GameCube version had, like, an extra, uh, like, night vision type thing. The Xbox version, I think it ran better or something. Stuff like that. But with the 360, Microsoft started paying for this stuff, and so as a result, what you had, instead of doing that, where you had developers taking advantage of the benefits of each system, with the 360, what ended up happening was then Microsoft would buy out exclusive content for their version. Meanwhile, the other version would stay the same. So to anybody that complains about exclusive DLC, Sony uh, buying out Call of Duty exclusive DLC, stuff like that, you have nobody to blame but Microsoft for starting this stuff in the first place. I mean, honestly, dude. That's true. Mm. That is true. Yeah, you're right about that. Microsoft started that trend, man. Yeah, you can't as far as a company, man. you know, if you, if you see something, you try to take advantage of that as well. Mm. So that's pretty much it for the for the first two topics. Now, the last topic that we have to talk about here is basically the way that things are in the YouTube community right now, and just on the internet in general. Now, the Xbox fan base has become really uh, 
out of hand honestly they're they're quite rude and offensive a lot of the time uh and i don't understand why it is that after all this time of the xbox still losing to the playstation it's like they're fighting a a fight that they can't win yeah and, uphill battle yeah exactly i mean what is up with these Xbox on YouTube right now? Because when MLD was around, it was nothing like this. With MLD, yeah, he was more he was more professional and more like honest about it. Even though he he was, you could, you could tell he had a little bias, but at least he was more professional and, and a little bit more. You know, he would see it from both angles. With yeah, these exactly. Two videos, and he would they, use facts. Oh, he, yeah, oh, sorry, go ahead. He would use facts. I mean, I mean, yeah, he would use facts. He would show you, and all you would have to do is counter it. But with these idiots, it's not even countering. You're just destroying their whole logic and their whole argument. They're not even making any sense. They don't bring exactly. up any type of links in their descriptions when they say something like 20, uh, I don't think Sony sold 20 million. Where are the links to prove that that's not true? Exactly, yeah. And it's funny because MLD would be willing to debate with people. But these yeah. guys, nobody wants to debate. It's like they all want to have their story so that their channel grows and then just end it there. You know what I mean? Yep. I think that's I think that's a disgrace. They're they're just a disgrace to the gaming community, man. They're just Yeah, I think I think it's it's sad that um you know, I I, I told everybody to score my, my video yesterday. Um I saw a crap gamers video which there's something at the very end uh, that I, I'm gonna have to take. Um, I, I, the, just the, the, what they believe is not true. Okay, and I, I think we talked about this uh, earlier this week. If you trick yourself into believing something that's a lie so much, and you really believe that lie is the truth, when the truth comes out, it's, it's even harder for you bel to believe. You know, and you do look crazy to the outside world. These guys look crazy. They literally believe in their hearts that the Xbox is the best box. And it's just <laughs> not. It's just not, dude. It's they need to shut the fuck up and stop. No one's nobody for the rest of this generation is gonna get behind the Xbox. Look, they brought out uh Gears uh War, uh what is it, HD remaster of the very first Gears. They made Halo five this past holiday season. A uh, rare replay. Uh, they got they paid a lot of money for a one year exclusivity deal as far as consoles are concerned for Tomb Raider um reboot part two or whatever the fuck his name. And then is there anything else they did? They delayed Scalebound for a whole fucking year to 2017. What can you possibly do with only two, only on the Xbox One exclusives? And that's April for Quantum Break and October for Gears of War 4. Does that seem appealing to a lot of gamers? No. So just knowing how bad their lineup is, and gamers are smart, you know? I mean, we are not... 14 and 13 anymore we are smart we know patterns we see this bullshit and microsoft needs to understand the gamers have grown up and they're not going to be tricked by them anymore i mean look let's look let's look at this tactic real quick ready microsoft baits in gamers during the holiday season with all these deals but for mo the most of the remainder of the following year they have no more content to give them they rely exactly. solely on third party to provide their current and new gamers with content. Meanwhile, like a fucking squirrel, they're saving for the winter. For the holiday season. <laughs> and they lost the holiday season last year. So I'm like, if that doesn't tell them, you know, you need a new plan, a new strategy, I don't know what else. Look, Gears of War is fall. Halo Wars 2 is holiday season. They're doing the same thing they did last year and in 2014. Now let me ask you this. Do you believe that they think that they're going to win again? Oh no. Because oh, no. you got to remember, Horizon is a fall game also. And um, uh, Last Guardian is coming out at the, by the end of the uh, year. So that's going to be probably a holiday or fall title. Sony's not going to let any of this dumb shit happen again where they go into the holiday season without a strong lineup you know yep 
we got we got good games throughout all the seasons of this year, and that's that is what's important. Microsoft hasn't, and uh, and they I just don't think they're ever gonna care enough to do so. Um, uh, my my other pet peeve with the the Xbox is uh I hate when they uh defend Forza and they don't buy it at all. Yeah, they, they dude. Didn't even make, didn't even make the the, the the NPDs in the top ten is selling like it missed two months, and it's supposed to be a new game. They defend this game. They always trash in Drive Club. Yeah, and remember yeah, Drive Club it. got a million in the first yeah, week. Like, wh- why are you going to defend the game in the comment section, but y'all y'all don't buy it and y'all don't barely pull, post up any gameplay? You got other big name YouTubers that post up gameplay for y'all, and y'all supposed to be doing, you know, doing it for the Xbox community to show why the Xbox One is good. Obviously, they don't believe in their own shitty ass system. And the other thing is this, dude. I see a lot of people, and one person in particular on YouTube recently, that they'll always talk about how, oh, Sony guys don't buy games, blah, blah, blah. But Crap Gamer was recently trashing the Xbox community for not buying their exclusives. So at the end of the day, until Dawn exceeded expectations, uh, the Uncharted Collection outsold, what was it, did it outsell Halo 5 or did it sell compared to how it was? It was close from what I remember, wasn't it? I believe so. Um, yeah, it was real. It was real close. I believe. Yeah. And we also saw Infamous sold well. Uh, the Order sold over a million. Bloodborne sold over two million. All these games, you know, Killzone sold over two million. All these exclusives that these people are trashing. Drive Club got over two million as well, I believe. And, and, and it still got ton of content. It, yeah, it, yeah. That, yeah, it's still it, getting supported to this day. Yeah, Little Big Planet has sold well. All these games have been selling well. Even Knack sold yeah, over. Yeah, even Knack, yeah. dude. But Tomb Raider struggles to sell a million. You know, Halo is the oh, worst oh, selling oh, main Oh, Halo wait, game. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Tomb Raider struggles to sell a million only on the Xbox One. We have to say yeah, that yeah, because yeah. if you guys remember, Tomb Raider also released on the Xbox 360. And like we said earlier in this podcast, Microsoft is famous for using 360 sales to pump up the Xbox One success that it does not have on its own merits. So that's so, just one thing to keep track of. And so that's the thing. Halo 5 is the worst selling main Halo game. I mean... Who is the fan base that's buying games and who's the fan base that's not? And when you see these Xbox on YouTube even trashing their own community for not buying the games, I mean, you know, I, I think the answer is clear. And at the end of the day, I mean, we have much more of a variety of games. You know, Xbox fans, they try to bash everything that is exclusive to PlayStation. And as a result, they, they may not get them. I don't mean to cut you off. Don't forget, they're getting not only trashed by their, you know, guys like Crab Gamer, but other people in the industry, too. Like, yeah, yeah Cliff Blazinski, like, dude. They're getting, they're getting dogged by them. Yeah, yeah Cliff Blazinski was just owning them. Mooch yeah. the other day on Twitter. Yeah. Mooch and Crab Gamer. You know, both of them went up uh, and t- attacked them. And then it was an unknown Xbox that started the attack, and they joined in. I'm like, this is the dude that made Gears of War, the game that Crap Gamer just posted some shitty gameplay of, the game that they're bragging about this holiday season, and you go attack the creator of Gears of War? Like, these guys are rageaholics, man. And I believe the reason why they attacked them is because, even though he's not a part of Epic Games, um, Epic Games' newest game, Paragon, is only on PS4 and PC, and then I oh, know yeah. they're pissed off about that. Oh, by the way, everybody, we are getting a beta soon for the PS4 version of Paragon. It is coming very, very soon. Testing is being done uh, on PC right now. But I can't wait to get some gameplay up. And I know uh, Rated D can't. It is a MOBA, but it is just a different type. Uh, it's and you also you said that the uh, Street Fighter V's beta is going to be redone as well or something? I believe, yeah. But, uh, I just got a, a random update. I believe it was Friday morning or Thursday morning for Street Fighter V's beta. Um, so I believe they're going to go do additional testing before the game launches, which is a, the smartest thing I've ever saw. Dude, uh, to the, isn't the game coming out either in February or March? Let me go ask uh, Yeah, Google. sometime. I Sorry. can't remember. Uh, I want to say February. Street Fighter V release date. Street Fighter V's initial release date is February 16th, 2016. Ooh, yeah, there we wow. Go. That's right around the fucking corner. 
Yeah, uh, so it's it's good that they're doing that uh, testing. It's a very smart thing to do, is uh, cause it's literally today. Like today is uh, it's a month from now, uh, thirty days from now. So uh, yeah, it's um, it's it's gonna it's gonna be some. That's good shit. You know, like I I can't wait. But so the bottom good. line is this: the Xbox community right now is nothing like the community that we had five six years ago when MLD was in charge. Those guys would want to debate with you, and they would use facts when they were debating you. Now, you could counter them, and you could have, you know, going back and forth and stuff like that, but it wasn't anything like it is today with these people that just want to spread lies all the time, you know? And when you see them even going after the creators of some of their favorite games, like Cliff Blazinski, it's just flat-out disrespectful and lame, really, you know? It, it just baffles me, dude. That's one of the reasons that, you know, a, a lot of these developers may not want to put games on Xbox when they see your community behaving like that. It's insane. Anyway. See, two of the guys left uh, Crystal Dynamics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he, he left yesterday, right, Star? Did he leave yesterday yeah. or the day before? Yeah, one of the yeah. league guys left yesterday. So, well, I got some good think if they... If they oh, put okay. that game on the PS4, they would have sold three. The million. good news is, uh, for the PlayStation, uh, uh, Legion, I just made our official uh, Facebook page. So if anybody wants to join that, and of course I just made today also, uh, the community, uh, on the PlayStation 4 for uh, PlayStation Legion, and we already have our official logo, so you can spread that around on Twitter. Uh, but we got everything set. Uh, it's all up now. Um, by the time you see this video, everything is already up on the internet. You can join. Uh, links are gonna be links will be in the description, right? Uh, Pack, I send you all the information yeah, so you yeah. can get that. Down and the below. other thing is, in regards to the communities on PS4, make sure that you join the PlayStation Legion podcast community because there's another one that's PlayStation Legion that someone else had made a while back. So yeah. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, you guys have any last words? Mm, no, not not really. I do know I want to make a, a new a, a, We got a group. Huh? I said the Xbox need to buy their games if they're going to have any chance. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. That's the only way they're gonna <laughs> they need to buy a lot of games if they're going to have a chance. How about the best Xbox One lineup in Xbox history? Yeah, I still can't get over that. They that they promoted happen. that from like uh, what two months ahead and just trying to drive that into people's like, head. Yeah, and they still really did. Work. And it's still funny because on PS4 I still have a backlog. I'm playing Until Dawn right now for the first time. I'm still oh, having you're gonna to be, finish yeah, the Bloodborne yeah, DLC. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff, dude. Free PlayStation yeah, I still gotta, Plus I gotta, games. I gotta get that too. I gotta yeah, get that Bloodborne DLC too, man. And, and then on the PS3, I just bought Assassin's Creed Rogue. They had it for 60% off. So I went and bought that and I started playing that. There's a lot of stuff to play on every PlayStation console still. <laughs> you know? So And we've got these amazing new games like The Last Guardian, which I'm extremely excited about, that are coming this year. You know, PlayStation just has a lot to look forward to. And, you know, that, that's all I really have to say. Thanks for watching, everyone. Rated D signing out.